And I give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, double honors to the apostles and elders at GMS. Man. You know, shalom to you, Akiams, around the four corners of the earth. Uh, and the confusion of faces that pushing this world in sincerity and in truth. You know, day in and day out. You know, we want to get into some encouragement and motivation. You know, we want to get the fuck out of here. You know, so um, this is First Corinthians. See, like, yeah, with, with that, I just want just to add to uh, what you say. Uh, Today is the Sabbath. You know, so, Ash is Sabbath. Can, Ash is Sabbath. Right? You know, so we could get straight into the scripture. Can. Um, 2 Corinthians 1, verse 2. Can. It said, Grace be to you and peace from Yahweh our Father mm -hmm. and from the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Can. Blessed be Yahweh, even the Father of of our Lord Yahweh Shia Mashiach, mm -hmm. the Father of mercies, and the and the power of our comfort, who comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, mm -hmm. by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted mm -hmm. of Yahweh. Yeah, because um, we've been comforted by the Scripture. God. The scriptures what comfort us, God. right? Starting from the the apostle of GMS, the true apostles, mm -hmm. you know, um, we've been comforted by the knowledge that they've been passed down to us. God. That's what the scriptures say, coming from Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the apostle, and it coming down to us. We study in the scripture, being diligent in the scripture, through our affliction, God. right? So. We, we don't have a name yet for this video, but to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we can get a name before the video okay. ends. Go ahead. Okay. So, read, read. It says, four, verse 5 mm -hmm. For as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai abound in us, mm -hmm. it abound in us because we, we are not greater than our master. Okay. Right? So we must go through the suffering. Okay. But I think I, I think I know now exactly what I'm going to name this lesson. Since you say that we. Uh, we back the part up. I said, for as the sufferings mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach abound in, in us. Right, so it abound in us. So I think now I know exactly what we're going to name this scripture, this, uh, this video, because this scripture is beautiful. God. You understand? It is in us. So we have to go through this, this suffering. God. Right? Until that time has come for Yahweh to send Yahweh Shai and, and the angel back to deliver us. Uh, right, because we see all the turbulence already going on with Trump, all of the confusion. I'm gonna get into all of that. Yeah. You know, all of the lies that, that the, the, these people be pushing. You know, but guess what? We are not ignorant to Satan devices. Uh, right. So, so knowing it, the scriptures say, um, I think it's in Ecclesiastes one and, and fifteen. Uh, they say that a man that increases with knowledge increases in sorrow. In, oh. Increase in sorrow. Uh, so we know what going on. Not like we, these two third out here. They don't know nothing. They're just going with the flow. Right? So knowing these these things, the truth, it it, it is is a kind of suffering because we cannot do it. We cannot do nothing to help ourselves. Can. But we have to wait on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Can. We can't do nothing contrary to the scripture. You no? Know? Right. Contrary to the to the understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that affliction and suffering just that to the brothers was saying mm -hmm. for as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai are bind abound in us. Can. You know, the, the the sufferings that Yahweh Shai went through. Yeah. You can. know, it's it is also in the awful elect DNA. Yeah. You know, so this is new to me. You know, we we know we, we know this this as we go through it, we get remembrance. You know? Yep. So Thing that is just about it. Now. Yeah, can't go ahead. Huh? It says, so our consolation also abound by Yahweh Shai. Mm. And consolation, right? Uh, I just getting straight to the point. Oh. It's exaltation, right? But the word that we really want out of the, all of the the um, the interpretation of the word is encouragement. Because what we're doing here today, we're encouraging 
the, the, the rest of brothers, God. right? The hopeful elect. We're encouraging each other. And I'm going to prove it by the scripture because sometimes we go through things thinking that, hey, only you going through it. But there's other brothers out there going through that as well. God. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, first, first Peter 5 and 9. Yeah. Is that what you're going to know? God. God. First Peter. First Peter 5 and 9. God. Who, who resist steadfast in the face, mm -hmm. knowing that the same afflictions yeah. are accomplished in your brethren? The same affliction. Uh -huh. Go ahead. But it's it up here. You see, for as the suffering of Mashiach, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There are other brothers going through the same thing too. The elect. Right? The elect, you know? Yeah, well, yes, God. The awful elect. So, this this is what we're doing. The, the video that we, we're pushing out there is also epistle. Right? These are letters that we're sending out to strengthen each other because Paul did it, Peter did it, Timothy did it, John did it. We could go on and on. The prophets did it. Right. Those things that was written at four was written for our learning. And true so, patience and comfort of the scriptures. Can, you know? So this is what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous heart. Alright? Ah. Yeah, go ahead. Ab. I say afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Correct. Right, so the virgin that is in the world going through the same affliction, right? So don't believe that you're going through it by yourself, no. you know. So this is why we do this video. We 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 tell brothers what we're going through. I mean, we don't get into depths, depths, but you know, about all of the things that we're going through, we're still pushing your how about Shemi Awashai, right? Yeah, you could go back to the scripture okay. because one of the things too, you know, as the as the end draw closer and closer, you know. And we get closer and closer. You saw walking in with scruff and demons be raising up and all of that, you know? True, true. And attacking brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You get the knowledge and power of your how about Shim mm -hmm. You know, and you call upon that name, like Apostle Taha say, with your thoughts, when they attack you and, and they flee, you know? Resist the devil and he shall flee. Yeah, um, James 1 and 7. Submit yourself to your howl. Resist the devil and he will flee. Yep. You know, so as we draw closer, the our soul will be tempted more stronger. And the apostles, they keep saying there's different levels to this thing. So every time we draw closer, we move in from levels to levels. You know? The temptation gets stronger. Yep. You know, the intensity of everything gets stronger. Alright? So that's why we need to, to, to comfort each other and look out for each other. True. You know, we need that unity yep. at this point of time. Because prophecy being fulfilled, things happening, you know? Yeah. We need we need each other. You know, we really need each other. You know? In the spirit that you how about Shemi Awashai. God, and, and you know, we have to stick to our, our brothers, you know. Everybody, every brother have a brother or maybe two that you have confidence in, which is in your how about Shemi Awashai. You know, because they're gonna come a time that, like the brother saying, hey, when affliction started to happen, hey, you can't run to the tutor. A tutor will always be a tutor. God, right? The scripture say a good friend is a medicine. To the soul, right? No. So, so you have to identify that that portion, Damn. right? Identify the brother. Don't be easy to just credit a, a, a friend. And so, a sincere brother comes in, you know. Yeah. A sincere brethren, Damn. you know, because when when Paul, the apostle Paul, was in locked up, you know, the son that he taught, they run and leave him. Mm -hmm. A few days in Second Timothy chapter six. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there, they, they, they run and leave him. Some of them didn't come and see. Timotheus went and see. Timotheus, that most of them was despised because his father was a Grecian, you know? And yeah. Titus, they was with, with the Apostle Paul. Yep. For the rest that seemed like Israelite, like a true Israelite, they run and leave him, you know? But, but these brethren that, which was Israelite, but because of confusions of faces, mm -hmm. you know, they, they stick with Paul. Yep. You know, and Paul strengthened them through the spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, So at this point in time, we need to identify true brethren. 
you know, we have to try the spirit as John, first John chapter 4 and 1, you know, I know because as the time draws closer, we have to be, like the Apostle Gabar say, observance, like Apostle Ariam Lassi, circumspect, you know, and Apostle Taha say, you know, be diligent, yep. you know, in these things, you know, focus, all right? Okay. Let me just read a scripture, right? Yeah, and yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is how we're supposed to be in these last days. Because we know for sure it is the last days. Can. Watch it all of the things that are happening around the world. Can. And we're supposed to stick with each other. Can. Right? So you see a brother, you're supposed to be happy to see him. Can. Right? Like I could say one thing. Yeah, go ahead, uh, go ahead. Like I was telling uh, today. And <laughs> since, since this morning that that it was it happened two days, like two days I go on Facebook and I run in the feds. And I see people married in and getting married in. I said to people like, you know, like at once. Then I remember the prophecy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I wish I say that in the day of knowing, so would it, would it, would it come and be yeah. that they will be given in marriage. Mm -hmm. They will be marrying and marrying wives. You know, and then the next thing we observe is that a lot of pregnancy. Yeah, true, true. You know? So these are prophecies coming to pass. Yeah, because today, that's the other way of saying. Today we we were sitting eating, mm. and we saw within a, within about because we was going through scripture after we finished eating, okay. and within about 10, 15 minutes we see about about like what is it like what? twenty and counting? Wow, all day you know pregnant women, you know. Even when we walking out, yeah, this act was like, hey, look at next one pregnant. That's like shit. Look at next one. Look at it. We was like there, you know. You know. So. Yeah, I can't. These are prophecies, you know. We know that we are the, we are at the end. Yep. Yeah. You know, for a fact. True. You know. Right. Let me so, just read and, this. And how shall I say in that same scripture, Matthew 24 and 31, that one jot or one tickle wouldn't pass away from this world yep. until all be fulfilled, That's and true. it wouldn't pass that generation at that time. But we know that generation died and that generation coming back now in these last days true, true. For, to be judged, you know, who to judge for salvation and who to judge for for the fire, you know? Yeah. yeah. This is um, Surah chapter 13 and 16. Yeah. It's the all flesh consulted according to, to kind, mm. right? So this is what we say, you know, stick to your brother. Can. You know, stick to your brother because it's going to break, it go, everything going to break out. Can. Right? Our women going to act up, our children going to act up, right? And keep in mind that no friend that, that don't know the scripture going, going to stick by you. It's your brother who know your how about Hashem, your Hashem is going to stick by you. Can. Right? It's it. And a man will cleave to his like. So a two thought ain't gonna give up a next two thought for you. Damn. That's what it said. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right? Mm. It said, what fellowship have the wolf with the with the lamb? God, you know, in, in the scripture say we are led a sheep to the slaughter. God. You know? So, we are a we are lamb sent in the midst of wolves. Mm -hmm. You know? God. So <laughs> You know that can't work out. Or okay, can two walk together and except or, they be agreed. Correct. No. The most three and three. Okay. It's a um so the sinner with the with the godly. So there's no fellowship with the sinner and the godly. No, no fellowship. No fellowship. You can't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. It is proven at our workplace. Okay. Whenever we we work together, mm -hmm. when we bring out scripture and we's the boss. Whenever we bring out scripture. Everybody going. It's not even time to go back to work, but fellas gone to work back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like them demons just start acting up. But if we idle talk, you know, they they will stick around right through the lunch. Yeah, can't. as soon as scriptures start coming out, they start running. Yeah, you know, wickedness. Like we're like straight wicked. The scripture is right. It's on point. Can't. There's no fellowship with with, with, with light and darkness. Can't. Right. Let me read one more one more verse. Mm -hmm. But see, what agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? Damn. 
and what peace between the rich and the poor Damn. because now these things started to break out the the poor is going to kill the rich for what they have Damn. for food according to the book of Ezra Damn. it's fulfilling prophecy you understand no. anyway let us get back to the scripture yeah, <laughs> um, this is for sick because you say they are uh, but um, that scripture that say the rich man's the rich man's um, I can't remember it at this time. So like yeah, it say Second yeah. Corinthians one and six. Mm -hmm. It say and whether we be afflicted, mm -hmm. it is for your consolation mm -hmm. and salvation. Mm -hmm. You know because mm -hmm. whether we be afflicted, you know we do it for the truth. Yeah. We have to always keep that in mind. Yeah. Anything since we are in the truth, anything that we go through is for the truth. It's for your next brethren. Yep. It's for your house shot. It's to give the next brethren a cup of water. You know, that tourist. Food, bread, when you're hungry. You know, everything that we go through is for our next brethren. It's for this truth. It's for your how about Let me back you up. You know? This is Revelation chapter. Chapter 2 mm. and 9. Mm. It says, I know thy work. Damn. And tribulation. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I wish I know, you know? Yeah. It says, and poverty. But thou art rich. Damn, we are rich with this knowledge. Damn. But yet still we poor in this flesh, you know? Yeah. True. And what Yahusha yeah, say also, blessed are the poor. Mm -hmm. You know? Best be, for they for they shall be. Let me get that real quick. Huh? Yep. Yep, Real yep. quick. Oh. Um, yeah, Matthew chapter 5 and 3. It says, Blessed are the poor in mm -hmm. spirit, mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Correct. No? Correct. Right? So you see, um, I, and the tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Damn, we are rich with this knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I know. And I know that the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, which say that they are Hebrew Israelite, and are not, you know, but and are not. Uh, but are the synagogues of Satan. Yeah, but the synagogues of Satan. Mm-hmm. You know, we the most I know, Yahweh shall know everything. You know? We always bring out this that the most I see in second Ezra that his eyes is always on the ways of the elect. Correct, correct. Even on every thought of the elect, yep. everything that the elect do, mm -hmm. say guide the step of the righteous. Yes, you know, Sirach, Sirach 17. Can right? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm more for you, yeah, right? Um, <laughs> Revelation chapter 3, start at 9. It said, Behold, I will make them, make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say that they are Hebrew Israelite mm -hmm. and are not. But do lie. Can they do lie? Mm -hmm. You know, they, they say, hey, I understand. this thing. You know, I be, you know, they, they, they be in your false brethren. Yeah. You know, the, the scripture, the apostle Paul talk about false brethren crept in on a way. You know, right. they, they, they be with you, they be with you, and then they betray you for money in this last end. God. You know, but the prophecy said that silver nor gold wouldn't save you. True, true. You know, none of that wouldn't save you. Yeah. You know, the unfaithful would perish. Okay. You know, they would die in the unfaithfulness. And in Yahweh, I was saying Amos 9 and 10, I think that all the sinners of my people would die. Right. You know, so if you betray your brethren, you know, obviously you're going to be put to death. You wouldn't spare. Okay. You know? Right, and also this scripture also saying that they are they, this this um let me read it back. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which is those that is in Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Those those white devil, mm -hmm. right? Which say they are Jews, because mm -hmm. they saying that they are Hebrew Israelite, Damn. and are not, but do lie. Damn. They are not. The Hebrew Israelite. And they are rich. They are filthy rich upon this heart. <laughs> and the Mosa is going to destroy them. 
understand, right? It says, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thee, before thy foot, right? And to know that I have loved thee, right? So the, the tribulation and suffering that we're going through, hey, it's all good, right? Like the brother said, we're going through it for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Anything for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Because there's, there's a time going to come that some of us who push in this name, we're going to be prosecuted. We're going to throw in jail. We're going to get our head cut off. There's a lot of things going to happen to us. And believe me, it is right now. It started already. And the scriptures say that though they prosecute us daily, yeah, they kill us daily, can you know? But we are still in die. All they do is they scoffing and scorning, yeah, they accusing us and bringing up lies. You know, they say they calling us black Hebrew Israelites for God's sake. You know, we are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Israelites. Can you know? They calling us. They saying that we, we, we are gang related. We are preaching it. We are being racist. Guess what? The Mosa is racist. True. And we are the chosen of the Mosa. We are Hebrew Israelite. And we gonna be racist uh, until Yahweh Shai come. We gonna be for our own because y'all is for your own. We for our brethren that have this knowledge and truth. You know, the truth of the Mosa that have Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We ain't gonna be for no tutor, even people of our own nation. Not all Israel is Israel. True, true. You know, we're gonna be for our own brethren, so we are racist. You know, but don't call us black Hebrew Israelite. We are Hebrew Israelite. Yep. From Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You know? Right, so, um, just, just to back up what the brother say, talking about, about racist. Okay. Right? Um, let me just get a scripture quick for you. Uh, we'll continue. This is Malachi. Just get straight to the point. So I read from I just read it. See the burden of the word of the Mosai to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Mosai. Yet he say, Wherein, wherein thou hast loved us? Can. As not was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, God. yet I love Jacob and hated Esau. Most I being a racist, right? The most I ate Esau. Correct. The most I ate you, Edomites. The most I ate you, so called white people who are the Edomites. Yep. The most I ate you. And ate everything that they have done to us. Everything. You know, the most I that anger the most I every day. Mm -hmm. You know, the most I say a thousand years to us. Right? It's like one day to the Mosai. So all you had we in slavery and done these things onto us, you and your confederates with all these other nations, it's like yesterday to the Mosai. Yep. So you know. Have you I, know, I'm angry the Mosai every day. I have a next scripture for you. You know? <laughs> Job chapter 9 and, and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Can. Right? No, no. This is why, why I say the wicked. <laughs> I want to jump to the next scripture. Because we know who, who is controlling this war. Can. This is Psalms. Because in, in David was a righteous man. David Can. was a righteous man. This is Psalms 39. 139. See that here. And I started 19. It says, Surely thou have slain the wicked. Can. O power, depart from me, therefore, he bloody men. Can. So David was cursing out the, the, the wicked, Can, you know? right? That even go to our people too, you know. Right? After that, you could get wait. I guess more. Psalms eighty-three and seventeen, right? God, it's a um for they speak against thee wickedly. Can they speak against the Mosai wickedly? You know because we come to, to towards our people. You know. And Esau and all these other nations. Mm -hmm. But Esau is using our people to come up against us. And also his Christian sect to come up against us. True. Right? They speak mm -hmm. wickedly against us. You know? And we come in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Can. You come with him, thus said the Lord. All the time. You know, so you disrespect me. 
and disobey it. What we saying and scoffing and mocking and do all sort of stuff to we. You know, you're doing it to the most high. And the most high hate y'all. The most high can't wait to destroy all y'all. Yep. You know? Ready? Come on. Right. It says, For they speak against thee wickedly, mm-hmm. and thine enemy take it thy name in vain. Come on. The enemy take the most high name in vain. Right. You know? These Christian sects. You know? They take the most high name in vain. You know? They're using the scriptures. Blaspheming. Can't. They say, do not I hate them? Can't. The most I hate them. The difference is David. David saying, do not I hate them, O Yahweh, uh-huh. that hate thee? Can't. <laughs> you know? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against mm-hmm. thee? Can't. Hear what David say. <laughs> I hate them with a perfect hatred. Yeah, perfect hatred, you know. I count them as my enemy. Yeah, they, they are enemy to us. <laughs> you know, because the men, the sincere men in GMS that have this knowledge and true the sincere Hebrew Israelite, you know, whether in GMS or not, that have this truth, you know, they are our brethren. Can't. Two thirds of our own people and these other nations, mm-hmm. they are our enemy. <laughs> because they are the enemies of the Mosai. Yeah. And we come in the name of the Mosai. Yep. You know? So you're an enemy to us also. Okay. And just that what you are did to your house in the past, hmm. them same spirits come back today, you're gonna do to us. It was prophesied in the book of Revelation 20 mm-hmm. that some of us were beheaded for the name. And the testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. True, true, true. You know, so we expect that. Yeah. You know? Or some more. <laughs> 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 Let's see. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, no? Search me. Right? And in Psalms um, 139 uh-huh. and 23. It says, Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. It says, Try me. And I and know my thought, God. and see if there is any wickedness, any wicked ways in me, God. and lay me in the way of everlasting, God, you know, right? And, and lead me in the way of everlasting. God, God. And brothers have to pray like that sometimes too, you know. Yep. You know, ask the Most High to try you. You know, let me try you, and you go off. Ask him to chastise you. Because the scripture says, train a child in the way that he should go, and he would never depart. The most I trust in the one he loves. So you know where you went off. You know what you did wrong, and you won't keep working on it. To the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Actually, right now, the things that we are going through, mm. we have been chastised for it. Can't. Right? Because a lot of us wondering why we catch in hell. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, well, who are we here? Let them hear. Can't. Yeah, we catch in hell. We yeah. ne- we in hell right now. Can't. Oh, where the fire is? Oh, the fire is right the wrong way. Yeah. We are reading the fire to you. <laughs> <laughs> According yeah. to Jeremiah twenty three and twenty nine, mm. right? This word is fire. Yeah, we in fire right now because the Most High already sent forth His word and put we in in this punishment because we went off. Right? Chosen we in the furnace of affliction. Can so they they, they come in a time now. Which we are about to get into that the Mosai is going to deliver we with joy. With joy. But um you have something else to say that. Oh uh, one wanna... thing that's why Pastor Gabai say that some of these some brothers, you know, they don't understand this truth. They don't they don't they come in this truth, expect not to go through suffering, expect not to go through tribulation. How could you not? How could you know you, but, but, but that's all man. <laughs> you know? But just 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 be comfortable and Hey, when you comfort, when you comfortable, you, believe me. When you comfortable, you don't want to go into these scriptures. Comfort is a demon and a devil. It's an adversary towards you. This truth. Hate comfort. Just hate it. You know you shall lose your life to gain it. You know. Let me let me just back up what you said. 
because you said that brothers come into this truth uh, and don't want to go to tribulation. Okay. Right? For let me hit this scripture for us. Surah chapter 2 and start at 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Mosa, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Come. Prepare yourself for temptation. Tribulation then. Tribulation. Hell. Prepare yourself to walk in a furnace. You used to have Ganzi in the work. I mean, material stuff. <laughs> you are accustomed to saying Ganzi. <laughs> material stuff in the work. A lot of money. A lot of, you know, fancy clothes. You know, everything was all good. And then you come in the truth and all I get taken away. Mm -hmm. You know, that was in the war. It's not you no more. The most I gonna put you through it. Yep. Like the most I put Job through it. And the most I called Job to pre to do this work. Job had to put off all the things that he had. You know? Job Job become a poor man. You know, for the Lord. You know, and what happened at the end? What happened at the end? Job was blessed double times. Like we gonna be blessed double times. We're going to get eternal life. We're going to get a kingdom. We're going to rule these Edens. We're going to get women. We're going to get everything nice. Double time. You know? Okay. Let's see get out of here. It says, set thy heart aright. Mm -hmm. Hey, when you're going through tribulation, set your heart aright. Yeah. Right. Don't be stressing out, brothers. Don't don't be like, you know, come on, you're going through tribulation with your wife, your woman, uh, or whoever, your job, your work, and then you're coming and you're taking it out on brothers. Oh, shit. They ain't fear. They ain't fear. You're supposed to come with brothers to comfort you. By the scripture. Say, bro, you know, hey, you know, the, the boss fuck up today, you know. Mm. My wife acting up. Say, ah, let me go through some scriptures. You know, comfort with the scriptures. Don't be taking it out on brothers. Come out for do the work and then you are mad and stressed out. You know, and you're taking it out on brothers. There's not the right spirit. Yeah. Like in the movie John Wick. They get the Continental. When they all injured and messed up, they go in the Continental. Guess what? They cannot fight in the Continental. When they go in the Continental, they relax. There's not a fighting wrong. They come for they get the, the, the bar, they could go and drink wine, they could relax, they could do whatever. But when they come out of the continental ground, back to war, they could kill each other. Mm. <laughs> right? But when, when, when. And right when, now we at work, huh? Can. You know, <laughs> and when you come in the continental ground, which is within your brethren, the war to your, with your brethren and taking it out on them. You have to let lean on them and they will comfort you. Yeah. You know? The scriptures have bear one another burden. You know? But when you look up those two burden, they, they have different meaning. Check yeah. it up, you'll see. Right? Now if there's something that we could help you with finance, uh -huh. you know, we help you. There's no problem. Because yeah. we could help if we could. Yeah. But there are certain burden that you just have to go to the, the most I place upon you. Yeah, spiritual burden. You understand? You know? Because if you're going through burden with your wife, we can't help you with that. You have to bear that burden. Yeah. If you're going through problem at your job, we can't help you with that. You have to bear that burden. Can. Well, what we could do is help, help you through the scripture. Hey, you know what? You know? We call, we comfort you through the scripture. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Hey, I'm hungry. I have no money. Listen, let us go go to the restaurant. We give you something to eat. We give you a little change in your pocket. You understand? That, we, that, that's the burden we could help you with. Mm -hmm. You know? But go ahead, Al. Yeah, we, we could help you with carnal boredom, but not spiritual boredom. Yeah, they have to be that. You know? Not we all have spiritual to boredom. We have to... Show you the scriptures and then you know what to do after. Correct. Strengthen you, know, you with the, the, the scripture. Yeah, how about You pray mm -hmm. and then the most I will show you what to do after. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, first we're going to show you the scripture, comfort you. You know, but don't bring your troubles to brothers. Like, as in taking out your troubles on brothers. You know? <laughs> as brothers, it's two thirds or some. 
So, <laughs> right? Um, I have some more. Yeah, good. Uh, it says, like it. <laughs> set thy heart aright mm. and constantly, constantly, what's constantly? That it's going, problems going to come steady. Yeah. It's going to come often. God. It see, um, she like you. And constantly endure. So every time it come, you have to endure. That's what yeah. the scripture said. You have to endure every time it come. I take it cheerfully. Okay. Give you some more. And make not ease in time of trouble. Yeah. Don't run. Don't be a pussy and run. <laughs> Drop the scriptures, drop the Bible, drop the truth, drop mm -hmm. the Mosai and run. Run back into the war. This wickedness. You're running from the jumbie and butt up to the coffin. Yeah, but hey, listen, I prefer to say that's just a, a, a say we have <laughs> yeah. in, 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 in GT what we use, right? Mm. Ghana for short. You know, George Dunn. So the thing about it, um <laughs> hey. <laughs> Brothers drop out thinking that they're gonna get salvation out there mm. for a woman. You drop out for a woman? Or you drop out because a next brother? I am telling you this, right? I'm a part of GMS. The truth, the truth. We will get we will be fed a hundred percent truth. truth. That's right. right? Yeah. Whether it hurt or not, I am going to stay here. Well, you understand? Hear off for beer. It's death at the make me depart out of this. No. If I've been I ever been thrown out by the elders out of GMS for something that I went off with, which I ain't gonna go off mm -hmm. to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and I land on my foot, I am running back to GMS, or I am going to go out there and I'm gonna preach this name. I am going to preach whether or not a brother accept me. Blast me how much you want. But there is nothing that is going to separate me from the Mosai. Yeah, Unless he put that spirit upon me. Yeah. Right? Now that is the mindset you have to get in this truth. Yeah, your, your reproof must come. Right? You can't take your reproof and be a pussy. I take me, you. me, you reprove each other? <laughs> well, we we go to the scripture. Yeah. We reprove each other. Hey, after you're going up there, you, yeah. you understand? And and what? It's not no major thing, but we go through the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Hey, sometimes you're cut, you can't even fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> you get cut, you get dark eye. Yeah, you like, oh. hey, yeah, like shit. And you have to go and sleep, wake up back, repent, you know? And, and go come again. again. <laughs> you know? We all come out from the slum, we all come out from the mud. Yep, yep. You know, we all in the filth of this flesh. You ain't gonna get everything perfect the first time. You have to take your reproof, you know, and chill. Don't be emotional and act like a bitch. Yeah, yeah. You know, just be strong. That's yeah. what they say. Because you want more scripture. Yeah, I want more, more here. It say, um, mm. cleave unto him and depart not away. Cleave uh. unto who him? How about Shem Yahusha? Mm-hmm. And depart not away. Can. Cleave unto the Lord. Because when you're going through your tribulation, just pray, 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 pray. Keep trusting in the Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Sometimes demons be attacking me. The only thing I could say, or can be able to say, is back, back it to your house, 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 shot. You know, just to fight them off now. Mm -hmm. You know? And then they, they, they because the scripture is saying for us, James, in James 1 and 7, submit yourself to your house. He says the devil and he will flee. Correct. And then he gone. You know, before we make this video, I was fucked up, you know? Yeah. But then I pray and you know, I continue praying and praying. And then his prayer jump on me. Yeah. True. You know? Right? You can't give up. You have to fight. You know? He that endures till the end will be saved. God. You know? We are about to hit that too. It's a um cleave unto him. And depart not away, God. that thou mayest be increased at the la thy last end. Time, you're gonna be increased at the last end. Meaning, there's a reward for you. Time, you know? right? We get the yeah. kingdom, bro. We get eternal life, bro. Can you mm -hmm. see, we get the best woman in the world. Hmm. We get this Eden under us. We don't have to do our work for ourselves. We've been through enough. 
Yep. Just a chill and drink and yarn yeah, and praise your how about shine our shot. <laughs> no, mm. it's all. Do the will of the, our Father. Can't. What we was created king. to do. Yep. To serve the Lord and rule other nations. Yeah. And be merry. Yep. Yep. No. So let's fight. Let, let's go through this. Yeah. What's it none compare. This ain't compare to the glory that 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 is actually waiting for us. There's a lot for us in store. Yep, yep. This is light affliction. Oh yeah. No. I have a, a precept for just before I finish it. Um, Revelation chapter twenty two and twelve. It says, "And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me." God, y'all should come in with the reward, bro. Come with salvation, with the kingdom, with the keys to the kingdom. You know, like when you got a brand new ride, you see the key, yeah. Y'all should come in, bro. Yep. Right at the door, we could feel it. Yep. You could see it. You know, yep. just look. It said, to give every man according as his work shall be. Damn. Mm-hmm. To give you according as your work shall be. Uh-huh. And and this and this this would this would be, um actually um tell upon your reward because yeah. listen what it what, what it said it said whatsoever is brought upon thee take it cheerful and impatient now I look up the word patient I just get it straight to the point it said to be long suffering. <laughs> In the scripture say the most I long suffering and there is also the fruit of the spirit. You know in Galatians 5. Yeah, Galatians 5 will feel somewhere around 21, 22. Yeah, I got you. Galatians chapter 5 and 22. Mm-hmm. They say, but the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. Long suffering, I like. You know? Right? It's long suffering. You can. You know? The Apostle Paul said they are foolish to this one thing. That 1,000 years to us, you know, is a day to the most side. So obviously we have to go through long suffering, bro. Say most I say he is long suffering. His words have to come to pass. He don't go back on his words. He don't change. Prophecy has to come to pass. I have to fulfill. Um, Shilakia, repeat the part that she's talking about the day. No. It's it, but? Uh, the but, day is one. The most I didn't slack on, so I'm going to read from there. Yeah, no. Read from nine. I want to read from eight. Um, of course, um, Second Peter chapter three and eight. God. It said, but, but beloved, hmm. be not ignorant of, the, of this one thing. Uh-huh. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, you know, and a thousand years as one day. Can continue on that scripture, right? You see, the Lord is not slack concerning His promises. Can the most ain't slack as man come slackness. Yeah, as as some men come slackness. Man, the most ain't slack, but is long suffering. It's long suffering, long suffering. To us, word. To us, word. Not the first fruit. We open that we are the first fruit. The elect, you know. God. It say not willingly. See that? Go ahead. Can go ahead. Huh? It say not willingly that any should perish. Nah, can not willingly that any should perish. Mm-hmm. So if you bitching up and you perish, there's on you. Hmm. Cause the most ain't willing for you to perish. When you going through, the apostle Paul that the grace that the most talk about the grace that the most I give you is enough. For the elect is enough to go through whatever. Right. No? Hey, it said not willingly mm. that any should perish, God. but all should come to repentance. That all should come to repentance. And we know all wouldn't come to repentance. Only the elect will come to repentance. Correct. You know, all Israel will come to repentance. You know, all Israel will continue doing wickedly, following Esau. Yeah, because it was set out so. Yeah. All right, let me finish up this here. Yeah. It's it, and be patient. 
when thou art changed to a low estate. Yeah, be patient. You know, if the boy went into the word patient, you know, he could bring that bow back. Huh? You see, to be long suffering. Yeah, long suffering. You know? Slow to anger. Slow to anger. Don't be a bitch. Don't go to bed with wrath on your mind, mad at your brethren. Yeah. You know, Got look it. look at the situation in different ways. Mm -hmm. Why you get reproof or you could change it. Yeah. What you could do, what you could not do, you know? You're a servant to your brethren and your brethren is a servant to you. God. You know? Some sometimes brothers just want you to be servant to them. You know, or they only want it one way. That you should be servant to them. And they don't want to want to the other way. You know, you're just being selfish, bro. But but because of the factor of, you know, we consider you as a brethren, uh -huh. we, we suffer. You we, know, we be patient with you. Can you know we be patient with you? Can because sometimes it's all about you. No, it's not all about you. Self center. Yeah, self -center right? It's all about you. You know. Anyway, five. The last verse. You see, for. For gold is try in the fire, mm. and acceptable men in the furnace of adversary. Damn, the acceptable men. Mm -hmm. So without you going, going through affliction, like Apostle Gabba always say that it's true. When you come into this truth, it makes you into a man. When he was in the war, he was a pussy. <laughs> God. He was a straight pussy when he was in the war. True, he didn't even know I was a pussy. Woman. I was a pussy when we was in the war. We was pussies. <laughs> you know, you, you, you know, all straight, of we was pussies. Straight talk by manners. You know, but when we come into the shoe, you're supposed to be a man. Yep. And affliction is supposed to make us a man. If we go through affliction and we expect to be comfortable, that means we want to be a pussy all our life. Yeah. We want to die a pussy, and I sure ain't want to die no pussy. Yeah, watch it, watch it, this too, eh? You know? um, in, and for just to show you how powerful this is, is that even when our bosses talk wrong to us, we deal with them through, through spiritually. God. And then, you know, you deal with them such in a diplomatic way that yeah. they, 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 it's like, oh shit, I didn't realize that this man knows so much. Or, you know, you, you deal with them and you tell them things that for them in a diplomatic way because they can't finance it still because the flesh can't sort for the spirit <laughs> we get the spirit to your how about you know when that when the most i flood we in any situation and adversary mm -hmm. these demons of this world can't come up come up against the most side true you know nothing 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 can't come, can come up against the most side Things you have about Shimon, I was like, yeah, it's like yeah. that. Now nah, it's all good. Anyway, mm -hmm. finish? Yeah. Anyway, with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, the brothers that pushing this truth in, in the, in, throughout the world, say in sincerity and in truth. Right? To all, all of the, the, the camps, big up, big up. Kwam Yasharala. Rise Yasharala. Shalom, Shalom. Stay strong, Akiam. Much love.